Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica. If you are new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you. So today's video is about a new um, product. I watched it on Ellie Leary's channel. I'll put her channel down below if you're not following her. She is such a great person to follow. And I love if you tell her that I sent you. But this is Undone Beauty. It's an unfoundation glow tint with coconut extract. It is light coverage and it is vegan and cruelty free. So I'm not so sure about this shade. Um, I picked up the same one that Ellie used on her video, um, but I think it's probably <laughs> going to be a little too dark for me. So um, let's go ahead. This one is medium light. I'm gonna show you, let me just fold my sweater down. It's pretty, um, what the color looks like on my hand. It's pretty um, thick, but like, moisturizing. Okay, on one side of my face, I did dampen a Real Technique sponge. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I already have all my skincare on, so I will link all that down below if you're curious to know what I'm wearing. But I can tell you right now, that did not go very far um, with the Beauty Blender. So let's go ahead and do it some more. It is super duper lightweight going on. Um, it feels like I'm putting moisturizer on my face. Hence why they probably got that un, the undone part of the title. It also has a little bit of a glow to it, um, but not a lot. I mean, it just looks kind of radiant. Do you see that? So this is none. You can kind of see right down the middle. You can kind of see how the sun is just kind of um, making it just kind of be a radiant finish. It's really pretty. It makes my skin just look like naturally healthy. Um, this color is a little bit dark for my skin tone, so I am gonna bring it down here to try to blend it in a little bit better. I could see this being like super great for the summertime. All right, and then on the other side, just to see, I'm gonna use my um, It Cosmetics foundation brush to see if it applies differently with a brush. So I'm just gonna put on the back of my hand and just do swirling motions. Um, it kind of looks almost a little bit more matte with the brush. This side looks a little bit more uh, dewy and like radiant, and this side kind of looks a little bit more flat putting it on with the brush. Uh, I also feel like I'm using a little bit more with the brush. But I guess not because I did get more when I was doing it with the sponge on the other side as well. All right, let's see. So this is with one, one coat across my face. This side is with the brush. This side is with the sponge. Let me look in my mirror here. This side does, it looks a little bit more matte to me. Um, whereas this side looks a little bit more radiant, like I think it's supposed to look. So let's go ahead and try to build up both sides just to see if you can build it up or how it looks when you try to build it up. I really like the way that it, it looks with the sponge. Like it just looks like your skin looks very healthy. It kind of reminds me of how when you use the It CC cream, how your skin just looks like it just has that healthy, that healthy look to it or um, the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. Um, it looks like that. Very pretty. I don't know though, this side I might have to set like with my T-zone. I don't know how that will be. All right, let's go ahead in with the brush on this side to do a second coat. It is building up a little bit. Um, I would say that I'm getting more light to medium with a second coat. It does look a little bit more makeup-y to me um, with a second coat. Still, my skin looks just like perfected. Let me just bring you in here. So here's with the brush with two and the sponge with two. I really feel like my skin looks really nice. It'll, you can almost see more of a glow a little bit on this side with the two coats. Um, but looking in the mirror, I mean, it just looks like I have a little bit more on my face. I mean, I know I do. Um, so I kind of like it better with the one coat, but that's just personal preference. All right, I'm gonna go ahead in and see how my, brush, my blush goes on top. I'm just using my Maybelline Fit Me in pink with my Real Techniques sponge, or sponge, brush. And I'm just going to just stipple it dab it onto the apples of my cheeks. I love this color. 
Um, I just added this one to my collection because I was using the nude color all the time because it had like that luminous kind of look and this one's more of a flat. Um, but it gives just that like a healthy, a healthy glow. Isn't that pretty? All right, it's perfect for spring, perfect color. And then I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put a little bit of my favorite highlighter. This is by um, Becca in Moonstone with a fluffy brush, just right above my blush to kind of give, do you see that? Oh, I just love this highlighter. All right, so I already have my lipstick, my eyebrows, my eyes done, so I can link all that down below if you're curious what I'm wearing. I am going to do a wear test on this and I'll check back in throughout the day to give you my thoughts on it, but my initial thoughts are, it's really pretty. I think this would be a perfect color for me for the summer, because it's like a shade too dark. Um, but not in a bad way, like it's not too RNG, it just looks like I have a natural sunburn, uh, sunburn, I have a natural tan, I can't talk today. Um, it looks pretty. Um, so yeah, I mean it has like a little bit um, of a grayish undertone, but not as much as the It Cosmetic CC Cream did on me. The It Cosmetic CC Cream just, it didn't suit my skin, it just made me look kind of like sickly. This one to me looks, has a little bit of a grayish orange, but it looks like a healthy tan. Like I went outside and I got my face tan. So I really think that this would be a great option for like a spring break, um, a getaway, because it's nice, lightweight, doesn't feel like you're wearing anything, um, but it makes your skin just look really pretty. So I will check back in throughout the day to let you know my thoughts on it and how it wears. See you later guys. Bye. Hey guys, I just wanted to do a check in. I'm wearing um, the foundation for about two hours now. I'm not sure what I think of the color. Um, to me it looks a little orange, but it also kind of looks a little grayish on my skin, kind of like the It CC Cream the did. What? I don't want to stay in the <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, but I mean, it looks kind of nice, but I don't know. I just keep looking at my skin wondering if it's a good shade match. Um, I did put the two coats on, um, but I'm not so sure that like the color is a good match. Um, and it does like look a little grayish like the It CC Cream. Um, but right now it's sitting pretty good. It was a little bit dry, like around my mouth and things like that. So we'll see in a little bit. Um, I'll check in a couple hours. Hey guys, oh, the cat wants to say hi too. Um, just got back from running some errands. I've had the makeup on for about six hours. Um, it has come off around my nose, but that's because I was blowing my nose um, and most foundations come off on my nose when I do that. Um, it still looks about the same. I do have a little bit of creasing up here, but I always do, um, and some right here. I always compare everything to my Neutrogena Healthy Skin um, or Hydro Boost because those are my two favorite. Um, and this, I mean, it's not as pretty as those, but it definitely is pretty. Um, I mean, it sits, it sits well, especially on the cheek area. It is, like I said, a little bit orange for me, but it almost makes my skin look like I have a natural, just kind of sun-kissed tan look as well. So when my body matches that, maybe it would be a better match for me. Um, but overall, I mean, the coverage is, is pretty good. Um, so yeah, so, so far, I mean, it hasn't come off anywhere else except for on my nose, but that's to be expected. And I think overall it looks, it still looks pretty good. So I will check in one more time and then we'll see how it's going. Bye guys. Hey guys, I want to do a final check-in. It's been on for about eight hours because I want to do it before I lose natural lighting because I think that's like the best for you guys to see how it looks. Um, but it hasn't changed. It looks the same it did when I put it on this morning. You know, I talked about it in the lines here and here. I haven't had any other problems with any other lines. Um, that's normal for me. And the nose coming off when I was um, blowing my nose, that's also normal for me. Um, but it's 14 bucks. It's vegan and cruelty free. Um, I personally think that if you're looking for something that's lightweight, I did try to build it up to medium, but it's not like a full medium. It's definitely more light to medium uh, with two coats. But if you're looking for something that's lightweight, this would be a great option, like if you're going on a beach getaway um, or something like that. I mean, it's it feels lightweight. I don't feel like I have anything on my skin. It's just not a really good shade match for me. So that's my final thoughts.